Hi, and welcome again to Arts Alive. I'm your host, Walt Height. Today, we're going to be talking about the next big, splashy musical at Gallery Theater. So go out and grab a pencil and paper, because you want to go jot down a few important dates and contact information. We're going to be talking about the musical Mamma Mia. And with me here today to talk about it are two members of the cast of Mamma Mia, Derek Moore, and Kathleen Vanderveer. Hello. Welcome to the show. Hi. Thank you Thanks. for having us. Well, we're going to be talking about all things Mamma Mia in a second, but uh, let's, uh, let's get to know our guests a, a little bit more. Kathleen, of course, you're a longtime McMinnville resident, and you uh, operate uh, Vanderveer Productions. Productions. Yes. And how long has that been going on? Well, I've been here in McMinnville for 23 years. I'm starting my 23rd season of Vanderveer Productions, Dance, Drama, and Vocal Studios. So we offer classes in dancing and singing, and I specialize in musical theater. Big surprise. Our home is right above the gallery theater, is my dance studio right there on 2nd and 4th. Right. We've been there for over, over 12 years. Uh, that's been our new home, and it's amazing to have that beautiful space with the theater. And we teach kids of all, all ages, all levels, and I'm so excited even for the show because a few of my former students and current students are also in the show. So mm -hmm. it's it's been a great marriage of my studio and the theater as well. Fantastic. Now, you've taken some of these groups in the past on trips. Yes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the far-flung corners of the earth you've gone with this Yes. Um, well, with my performance kids, we've gone um, to perform at the Orange Bowl down in Florida. We've performed on three different cruises, uh, one to Alaska where I had 161 Vandiver students and parents on the cruise. Uh, we've gone to New York several times and we've performed at the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville last summer. And then this, this uh, December, I'm so excited after the show is over, I'm going to be taking 10 students with their families to perform at the Minskoff Theater on the Broadway stage of The Lion King. Oh wow. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. So, super excited. Big mm -hmm. Apple. Yeah, the Big Apple. This December. Yes. Now, I, I know this other, this is a little bit of, I guess, what we now call past history, but uh, yes. you have been the Yamhill County representative of the Mrs. Oregon. Yes, I just recently competed in the Mrs. Oregon pageant this summer. Um, I didn't win the title, but I did win the C Career Achievement Award, which is amazing. I was really happy to receive that award, especially since my entire career has been in musical theater, and that's mm -hmm. all that I've done ever. So I was really excited about that and it was a great experience and mm -hmm. of course love love McMinnville, love uh, Yamhill County, I love the Gallery Theater and my entire platform for the pageant was promoting the arts. So I, I was able to um, get that out there at least for the last whole year and a lot of the pageant ladies are coming to the show. Oh excellent. Mm -hmm. Well thank you for being a good steward. Yes absolutely. The Anytime. Theater here in town. Finally uh, you in a fundraiser recently called Whiskey and Diamonds you were raising money to increase the safety Yes, yes. My husband and I, Mr. Richard Pratt, uh, we both have now a one-woman show, one-man show. We combine that together for a special event called Whiskey and Diamonds, and we just had it this summer. And yes, we are very concerned and wanted to uh, make sure that we could keep the theater very safe, not only for my dancers and for, um, you know, the actors at the theater. So we were able to get a, a new uh, security project mm -hmm. um, at, at the theater, and we were so happy we were able to get it done, and we were very successful in doing that. Yeah, and it looks really good. Beautiful. I mean, some were afraid that it was going to have this real, you know, prison-like appearance, yeah. but it's nothing like that. It's gorgeous, yeah, and it's and it's worked out great so far, so we're very happy to have it there. Well, it's sure great to have you here with us. Thank you. Derek, this is your uh, first production at the Gallery Theater, yes. but I believe this that you're no stranger to the theater stage. No, no. Um, I've been doing theater for, oh, Probably since 2013, I think, was when my first show was in Astoria. I'd done stuff before that in smaller areas, and I, I lived in Scotland for a while. I did some shows there. I lived in a community of people with special needs, and we did a number of shows there for them and with them. But um, just moved to McMinnville in May. Mm -hmm. So this is brand new to the area. My wife and I just came here from Astoria. And um, the, before we even moved here, we looked up the local theater to uh, make sure there was one. And it turns out it's five blocks from our house. Oh, and yeah, we, excellent. we thought, let's, let's get to know some people in McMinnville. Let's do a show. And I think we stumbled onto a really good one <laughs> on our first shot. So yeah. it was nice. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess it, it begs the question, um, why McMinnville? 
Oh, my wife got a job here. Oh. And strangely enough, we were, we had moved to New Zealand. We were living in New Zealand during COVID um, for a year and two months. And as it happened, things didn't work out with uh, being able to stay, family reasons and a few other things. But she, while she was there, she applied for a job in McMinnville and got it. And so I grew up in Aloha, Beaverton, mm -hmm. um, but McMinnville wasn't a place I came to hardly ever. I mean, maybe a couple times drove down 99, but I didn't know the area at all yeah. other than the Willamette Valley. Right. And so I was kind of excited because it feels like a brand new place. Um, but we came to visit before we officially moved here. And right off the bat, we were like, oh, this is cool. We this like this town. place. And mm -hmm. so far, we, we absolutely love it. It's fantastic. Well, it's great to have you here in, in McMinnville. Thanks for moving here. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for Any other interests besides theater? Yeah, I'm a musician. I've been a musician since I was 15. Um, singer, songwriter. I've had bands. I've recorded an album. Um, that's my biggest passion next to theater, I would say, probably before theater, really. Um, and then theater, and then woodworking. Mm -hmm. Or I'm a builder, so I love to build things, funky things, beautiful things. I'm a contractor by trade, so, um, but I love to build unusual things. And right now I'm remodeling the house we just bought. So. Well, that, that probably was something, a good vocation to have during the pandemic when we were it all, was. you know, having it was. to find something to do to keep from going stir crazy. Yep. It was one of those things, as long as we could set up plastic or something to separate me from the homeowners, I could still work in people's homes. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was like, I got to keep going. Well, it's great to have you here. As I promised, we're going to be talking about <laughs> Mamma Mia, the musical. I was, well, you might have forgotten we've been chatting here for a while. Mamma Mia is going to be opening on September the 9th, and it's going to be running through October 2nd. And uh, the phone number, if you want to get tickets, 503-472-2227, uh, and you can always go to the website, gallerytheater.org. So, uh, Kathleen, you're playing the role of Donna, and you're playing the role of Sam. Let's talk a little bit, give me a bit of a synopsis of Mamma Mia, would you please? Sure, well, yeah. I'm playing Donna Sheridan, and the whole story is very interesting because it all happens on one weekend, but it brings up a lot of history, but the entire show happens over the course of one weekend, and I am playing Donna Sheridan, who owns a taverna on a Greek island, and I'm raising my 20-year-old daughter, who is now going to be getting married. And so she stumbles across my diary because she does not know who her father is and she realizes there could be three possibilities after mm -hmm. reading that diary so she invites all three of them to the island and all three of these guys do show up the night before the wedding and unbeknownst to me and so now I am realizing and seeing them for the very first time in over 20 well 20 years and uh, it frazzles Donna a bit mm -hmm. it sure does and Sam has <laughs> traveled from where to, to good question, good question. Uh, we don't know where he's parts from unknown? Parts, parts unknown, unknown. But, uh, um, he's one of the he's one of the three potential dads and he shows up with um, they all show up on the same boat at the same time How convenient. and they, they don't know even they don't know the situation either they think that they were in, invited by their old fling and um, so they have to discover what really is going on as the show progresses well, of course, it's a musical, yes. and the music is music of... ABBA. ABBA. <laughs> All the hits. All the, All the hits. hits are jam-packed in this show. Right. There's so a lot of songs. There's a lot of songs. Everything but, like, Fernando, right? Yes. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, just pretty, pretty much, yes. Yeah, if you have ABBA gold, you will know every song. Well, I have to, I gotta, I gotta confess, you know, when I was growing up, I wasn't really much of an ABBA fan. Mm -hmm. They were a little bit too... To me, bubblegumish, I guess you could mm -hmm. say, but I've certainly developed a love for them over the years in the wisdom of my twilight years. 
Yeah. So yes. I started to, started to like them a lot more. Let's talk a little bit about uh, some of the major characters. Now you have, you have friends, you have a daughter. So I have Sophie. a daughter, Sophie, played by Allie Bean, who is incredible vocalist actress. Oh, right. And she was just recently seen in The Sound of Music, uh, playing Liesl. That's right. And then my, my two, my two uh, best pals are Rosie and Tanya. Uh, played by Tegan Johnson is Rosie, and then uh, Marcy Earhart is playing Tanya. And um, it's really interesting how the show is constructed. There's like three trios. It's myself and those ladies. It's the three dads. Um, Sophie has her two friends, and it's re it's really it's really interesting how it all uh, boils down like that. Um, and my and my my best <laughs> buds are are my friends from the old days, Donna and the Dynamos. Mm -hmm. And uh, before Donna owned the Taverna, she was performing uh, with with her buddies and that's where a lot of the songs come in dancing queen mm -hmm. and super trooper all that great three-part harmony it's yeah. fabulous and taking is playing her, her character is Rosie, Rosie and mm -hmm. you may remember um, Rosie or actually Tegan Johnson was armoire in the production of Beauty and the Beast just yes. a couple of years ago and uh, Marcel was in a show next door in the arena theater called Swimming in the Shallows, she played the character of Carla Carla. Yes. So, and then you have a couple of buddies, too. Mm -hmm. The other dads, um, Richard Pratt, her husband, uh, plays um, uh, one of the three dads, uh, Harry, who comes in, and then Sean Keller plays Bill. And so the three of us um, meet as we, as we walk in. But mm -hmm. then she has, of course, passed with all three of them. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I'm not here necessarily to offer a spoiler for, for what happens over the course of, of the show. You're going to have to come to the show to watch it, right, to, to get the whole story. But so what, how do you interact with these two guys as far as trying to figure out? And, yeah. Oh. Well, we don't know each other, and we don't really know why we're there. So we sort of kind of just hit it off to some degree in the beginning until we start to sort of realize, oh, this is what's going on. And um, we decided to play this particular version as that we get along quite well. Um, yeah, you'll see how it unfolds, but, mm -hmm. but we, uh, it's a good relationship with these three guys, and they're not antagonistic toward each other. Hmm. Well, that, that, that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, Sean Keller, uh, by the way, was recently a, it also in Sound of Music yeah. uh, with, with Allie Bean, he played Max Detweiler, the, the musical coach who tries to get all the kids together to put on the, on the stage. Yes. And of course, Rich Pratt, um, many if not all of you know who Rich is. Uh, Rich is playing Harry and, uh, well, he was in Whiskey and Diamonds with you yes. just recently as part of the fundraiser. And then uh, in the past, he's played Tevia in <laughs> Fiddler on the Roof. A number of times. Yes. <laughs> three, three, times three times to be exact. Three yes. times he's played. Yes, he's played and he's been in you. over 100 gallery productions, and he has been involved in the theater since that's 1969, amazing. since the beginning of the theater. I'm just going to put that shout out. I mean, that's incredible, right? That is incredible. That's I mean, incredible. That's, that's a lot of shows. I mean, that's I, a lot of shows. I, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm looking. You know, that's a long. A long we had a, we had a break in one of our rehearsals, and I just asked him about the history of the gallery, and he gave it to me from the very beginning, <laughs> yes, and he was go. there through all of it. It's amazing. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. he'd probably tell you about that. Uh, it was on, at the Linfield campus to <laughs> yep. start out. Yep. For a while, it was at the Yamhill County Fairgrounds yes. while they were improving this space down here, which was never really intended to be a, a, a theater, but is, of course, of course now. Uh, yeah, Rich, is, uh, Rich has been around the block, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and uh, he, of course, he's turning in his usual fabulous performance mm -hmm. in this production. Uh, we also have some people, oh, look, I, I don't want to overlook Noah. Noah yes. Miller plays Sky. Sky. Mm -hmm. Sophie's, so Sophie's a little, fiance. A little bit mm -hmm. about them, if you will. Well, sure, I can tell you about Noah. So um, he's actually been a former student of mine. I met him when he was a little boy at my dance studio. And I've seen him grow up through, through the theater and also through my dance studio. And he had really something special from the very beginning. Um, great dancer, great singer, great actor. Um, he's doing a fabulous job as Sky. 
and it's awesome to be able to be in a show with him, you know, because he was my former student and now we're in the show together. He was also in my production of Footloose that I choreographed and directed right before the pandemic in 2019. Um, and mm -hmm. he and Richard starred in that. And he mm -hmm. uh, was amazing in Footloose. That was one of the, the most uh, successful shows at the Gallery Theater and he was part of that. So right. and he was he great. Was next door in Swimming in the Shallows yes. as the shark. As the shark. That's been a couple of years ago. We talk about pre -pin. It seems like such a long time ago. It does forever. And forever since, mm -hmm. we've, since we've had those shows. But actually, it hasn't been all that long. I would be remiss if I did not uh, bring up, of course, our <coughs> some of our, uh, our crew members, yes. especially the director, uh, Kelly Jansen, who is at the helm for, I believe, the third time on the gallery stage. She has directed, in the past, uh, Shrek and uh, Oklahoma. So this is her third time out and uh, being being part of this production myself in a real small way I've, I've looked the schedule very organized yes absolutely Kelly's amazing meticulously she is. organized yes. and there. on top of it and I mean how many shows have you been in where the schedule just kind of gets tossed away after a while because you're nowhere close to, <laughs> to, to being there we're on I've noticed that we've been pretty much spot on we have yeah. I told on her last night at rehearsal I said you know if we had to open tonight I'd, I'd be ready. I'd be I'd be ready to try and do it. I would be, you know, I'm excited. And the thing about her too, she, Kelly is just so wonderful and she is so excited about the show herself. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's really rubbing off on the entire cast. If everyone loves being there and and it's it's also an interesting cast because I mean half the characters are our age and then mm -hmm. the other half of the cast is 20 somethings. Mm -hmm. And we're all on the same show and all in the same scenes and it's been great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's great. she's great to work with. And yes. it, like you said, her energy is infectious yes. and it's feeding right. us. Because, you know, doing a big show like this takes its toll, you, especially now when we're doing rehearsals every night and it gets tiring. There's a lot of people uh, to herd, <laughs> as mm -hmm. it were. And she's doing a great job bringing it all together. But she has a really good vision and has yes. showed us the vision from the beginning. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's been great working with her, yeah. Right, and uh, I mentioned I, I do have I, I have a, a, a little moment here, there, but my moment on stage is, well, okay, um, imagine driving from McMinnville to Sheridan. You have to pass through Bellevue. If you blink, you'll miss it. That kind of describes my, <laughs> my time on stage here. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but our, our set construction, by the way, we have had a beautiful set, and it's yes. uh, Ben Lap. Ben Lap, yeah. And uh, Ben Lapp is also fairly new to the to the community. Uh, he helped with uh, Sound of Music set, and uh, his first production here was Noises Off, Noises which was off. the last yeah, show we did right before the pandemic hit. Yeah. It was eerie because the last line of the last show is everyone on stage saying blackout. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yikes! That's true. That was right before right COVID. Before it. Wasn't it, was it? Right, it was. That was. It was right at the moment. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And our costumer. Uh, Beth. Beth, yes. Beth Carlson's staff. yes, and and every and every aspect of the show, I just have to say, of being a, and part of it is so professional. The set is incredible. Set is the costumes yeah. are going to be phenomenal. The music is great. The dancing is great. Mm -hmm. I mean, the sound, the lighting, and it takes it takes a village to really put it all together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, without the lights and the sound, I mean, you won't see anything that we are doing. So oh, yeah. I just got to, yeah, the, the set crew is, is just amazing. The and whole crew and is I've, amazing. Had the, I've had the advantage of being able to sit back and watch everything that's going on. And uh, yeah, I couldn't agree with him more. This is going to be an absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful production. You don't want to miss it. Again, Gallery Theater, 503-472-2227. Uh, uh, or at gallerytheater.org, and I think uh, our theater manager mentioned something about the fact that it's already half sold out, I think, yes. for its entire run, so hey. Uh, Go get tickets. And one, one more thing we don't want to we don't want to leave out, our, our stage manager is one of the best in the business, oh, it's yes. Karen Root, and so she's going to be part of this too. So all And also the, uh, choreography is uh, being oh, shared. Oh yes, being shared between myself and Casey, and it's been it's been great. There's a lot of dancing, mm -hmm. and so the other thing about the show, I mean, it's dancing. yeah, it's a feel good musical. And if you're not even into musicals, you're gonna know a lot of the songs. Yeah. Right. You know, so I think it's it's a great one to come out if you're not a musical person. Mm -hmm. You would you would love this show, and I do have to say, it kind of has a surprise ending. That's what I really like about it too. Right. 
Mm -hmm. Well, it's been fabulous having you on the show. Thank you so much for coming down. Thanks, Paul. Again, Mama Mia will be opening on September 9th and running through October 2nd. So for uh, McMinnville Community Media and Arts Alive, I'll see you at the theater. Thank you.